Hello and welcome. My name is Don Hall, Assistant Director for Transition US. I'll be your guide throughout this visualization. This visioning exercise is based on one called Visioning a Post-Transition World that was originally created by Sophie Banks, a psychotherapist based in the UK who's one of the pioneers of the inner transition globally. It has been used as a standard part of transition launch training all over the world for more than a decade now to help participants develop their own positive visions of the future and to begin to work towards making them a reality. Although this practice can be used by anyone, anywhere, at any time, this particular guided visualization has been specifically designed to assist those who are interested in contributing to the visioning phase of our new year-long national campaign, From What Is to What If, Reimagining and Rebuilding Our World. For more information about this campaign and to find out how you can get involved, please visit www.transitionus.org. So please find yourself a quiet, private space where you're unlikely to be disturbed. And feel free to pause this video at any time if you need to. You're welcome to sit in a chair or on a cushion on the ground, whatever's most comfortable for you. If you're sitting in a chair, please plant your feet firmly on the ground and straighten your back by imagining the crown of your head being pulled gently upward toward the sky. Let your hands rest face down on your lap. If you've chosen to sit on the ground, you may wanna cross your legs in front of you or kneel with your legs sticking out behind you. However you choose to sit, your posture should convey a feeling of upliftedness and strength, fully aligned with the innate structure of your own body and without any strain or unnecessary struggle. Once you're fully situated, please close your eyes and focus your attention on the full cycle of your breathing. Allow your breath to gradually slow and deepen with each new cycle. Give yourself permission to let go of any unnecessary thoughts or fears that you might be holding on to. For the next several minutes, give yourself a break from the busyness of your everyday life and simply allow yourself to settle more and more fully into the calm energy and awakened clarity of the present moment. Please continue to follow your breath while slowly scanning your body up and down for any places where you still might be holding on to tension. Enter into those points of tension where you find them and give them permission to gradually dissolve into greater relaxation. Keep following the full cycle of your breath as you listen to these following words. We will now be going on a journey together to a possible future for you, your family, your community, this country, and even the world. 
Together we will explore what the year 2040 might look like, sound like, smell like, taste like, and feel like if we start coming together now to radically re-envision our society and work to bring about a more resilient, just, and sustainable future. Imagine that you are falling asleep tonight in your bed. And in your dreams, you are transported forward 20 years into the future to an ordinary day in the year 2040. Many of the changes that we were advocating for in 2020 have come to pass. And although we still have generations of work ahead of us to fully manifest this great transition, we are already well on our way. We are tremendously proud of what we have accomplished over the past two decades and continue to be actively engaged in this work. Now you are about to wake up in this future world Where are you? Where are you living in the year 2040? Who is there with you? And what do you have planned for your day? What is your everyday life like in 2040? After lying in bed for a while, contemplating these questions, you decide to get up and get dressed. You go into your kitchen to pour yourself a glass of water. Where did this water come from? How do you and others in the year 2040 typically access clean, drinkable water? Next, you decide to fix yourself some breakfast. What will you eat? Where did this food come from? Where do most people get their food from in the year 2040? How is this food grown, processed, and distributed? Once you finish your breakfast, it's time to clean up. What, if any, waste do you produce in the year 2040? How is it collected? And where does it go? Well, you were using much less energy in 2040 than you did two decades ago. Some energy is still being used. 
What do you and others use this energy for? Where does this energy come from? How is it produced? And how is it distributed? Now it's time to go to work, to contribute in some meaningful way to your wider community. What do you see yourself doing in the year 2040? This might be just one thing or more than one thing. What do other people who are close to you do? How might you characterize your community's local economy overall? Do you work from home or somewhere else in the year 2040? If somewhere else, how do you get to your workplace? How do most people travel? What is your community's transportation system like? What does the built landscape in your local community look like? How are the buildings and layout of your community the same as or different from how they used to be in 2020? Where do you and other residents of your local community live, work, learn, pray, and play? Time has passed and we've come to evening now. What do you and other members of your local community do for fun in 2040? As you begin to head back home at the end of the night, you pause to look up at the sky and survey whatever wild nature surrounds you. How would you describe your relationship to the other than human world? How has this relationship shifted for you and others over the past two decades? How do you feel at the end of your day here in 2040? As you lay back in bed, what do you think about?
What are your hopes and dreams? How do you feel about the state of your world, your local community, and your own personal life here in the year 2040? What is most precious to you? As you begin to drift off into sleep, you slowly drift back in time to the year 2020, back to your breath, in your body, to wherever you happen to be sitting, knowing that you can choose to revisit this potential future anytime you like. Please take just a few more slow, deep breaths with your eyes closed. And then whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Well, thank you very much for participating in this visioning exercise. Hope that it was enjoyable and useful for you. After this video ends, I would like to encourage you to jot down some brief notes about what you saw, felt, and experienced during your trip to the year 2040. Then when you have the time, please visit www.transitionus.org slash what if to learn more about how you can share your vision with others particularly in these challenging times, our hopeful and inspiring visions of the future can provide hope and inspiration for others as well. Submissions for phase one of our From What Is to What If campaign will be collected through the end of August, 2020. Please know that your responses will only be shared anonymously. Again, thank you very much for participating in this journey to the future with me. I hope you take good care and have a wonderful rest of your day.